All right, folks, today we're talking Schuen Weebless Dual Handle Grip. Yes, I've talked about this before, but after I made my Crane Fears video about the dual handle grip in the underslung mode, I was asked, can this be done for the Weeble S? So I've looked at it and I have the verdict. The setup is right here and it is doable, but there are drawbacks and there are benefits of using this system. So let's take a look at it all in this video. All right, so here there's the dual handle grip for the Weeble S. It's finally here and I've made it and it works, but there are some drawbacks and there are also benefits using it like this. But first let's go ahead and see what it's made of. What are the components that goes into this build? So the Weeble S dual handle grip, this is how it looks in the front. And yes, it is nice to work with. It feels great. Um, but let me just put it back. First off, we have the dual handle grip and that is the dual handle grip that is made for the Crane 3S. And this is the problem with it because right in under this spacer, there are two pins that are sticking out which fits into the, into the Crane 3S. So I tried to find a spacer that would go over these pins so I didn't have to pull them out. Uh, but I couldn't find any. I tried to order a couple of different ones from Amazon, but none of them fit. So in the end, I just pulled out the, um, the pins and put the spacer on so I could convert the screw in here, which is a, three, uh, which is a 3 8 to a quarter 20. And then I added the quick release plate for the Weeble S and mounted the Weeble S on there. Then on top, we have a top handle, also a small rig, and then we have a monitor mount. On the side here, we have an on and off switch, so I can, so I can easily just press record from right here. And that is kind of it. Super simple setup. And yes, I would have to say it works fine, but there are some drawbacks you need to take in consideration. So the good thing about it is that it just feels great and looks cool. So having a setup like this, it is better to work with. You are more upright and you have this top handle and you've got the monitor right in front of you when you're shooting with this setup. So that is one of the things that I really like about it is the way the weight feels when you're shooting with the gimbal. But with that said, there are a lot more drawbacks than there are benefits using it like this. The first drawback is that you cannot use this with any firmware. There are only one firmware that works in this mode, and that is 1.95. The Weeble S is not made to be used in inverted mode. It is, it is made for the underslung mode where you have the handle right here, where you use it like this, then it works perfectly. And again, you have to trust the quick release plate uh, to hold up your load. So this is not a very heavy load, so I'm pretty sure that it will hold up, but if, it gets, if this gives away, the camera and the gimbal goes on the ground. So keep that in mind when using this setup. So the next drawback is that for this to work, you will need this stand because you just don't want to carry this around all day and you don't have any feet to put it down on. Um, so either you need a set of feet like this by the side, you can flip it upside down and just put the gimbal down into the, um, into the feet. That is an option or you will need a stand like this. This stand is some something I found on AliExpress. Not at that expensive, but you can see there's not much clearance down here. So it's not ideal, but again, it works. If you put it on a light stand, like I do with my Crane 3S, it works perfectly. But having it on, on a table like this is something I would prefer if I was going around with it um, on a shoot. One of the things that really makes me want to say, no, I'm not going to use this setup is that you cannot turn it on in inverted mode. If you try to turn it on in inverted mode, the gimbal, the Weeble S try to flip around so it will come into the upright position. 
So what you have to do is that you have to take the gimbal and start it in the upright position. Then you have to flip it around and fit it into this quick release plate and then you're ready to shoot with it. Then you can add your cables, your HDMI, whatever you need to fit into the camera, uh, but you have to do that once it is in inverted like this. I think that is probably the biggest deal breaker about this system is that you cannot turn it on and off and just walk around with it, turn it on and you're ready to go. You have to check out the cables and hook every, everything up again. So the setup time is much longer with this setup than if you're just using the side grip as a dual handle grip with the Weeble S. The good thing about the Weeble S is that it is so small and compact, it's easy to, to pack down and you can break it down to, to nearly nothing. And working with a system like this, it takes longer to set, that, to, to, to set up and you need more space in your bag to carry this around. Um, so that is probably one of the things as well that I don't like is that adding more gear that will that will take up space when I'm on the go. And I really think the Weeble S is a gimbal for when you're on the go. It's a small compact, as I said, just works like a charm for run and gun stuff. But again, I will not hold you back if you want this system. It is doable. Um, and as you can see, it works fine in any of the modes. It's just P um, follow mode here. Uh, yeah, it works. But it doesn't work as well as when you're operating it in the upright position. There are some tweaks sometimes in, in, in some of the outer positions where it doesn't want to do the thing I wanted to, but again, uh, it is doable if you're just shooting a long day where you're just documenting something or it's, some, it's, it's an event or a, wedding or a wedding or something like that. It is doable uh, to use it like this. I will link all the things in the description if you are interested in this setup. So you can go out and find the bits and pieces that I used to make this work. That is the uh, dual handle grip video. Uh, probably not what you had expected. I had hoped that I could just say this is just the best thing ever. But I want to be honest on this channel. It is not the best thing ever using it like this. If you want a setup like this, I would recommend you going with the Crane 3S instead because it is made for inverted mode. So it works like a charm in inverted. And then you also have the, the possibility to, work, to, to use it in the upright position. And again, there's also the last option. You can get a Ronin M. I know it's an old gimbal, but it still works and it is used frequently uh, by filmmakers all over the world. So that are the two options I would recommend, a Ronin M or a Crane 3S instead of this setup. But again, if you really want it, it is doable and it is usable. All right, guys, that is it. I will link all the videos that I talked about in the description and I will also leave uh, link them in the card above. And if you want to see any more of my Weebless videos, I will also link them down below. All right, that is it. I don't have any more for you. If this is the first time you're here, remember to subscribe to learn more about filmmaking with motion. And yes, stay creative and stay safe. And if you can, go out and shoot some dope videos. See you next time. Bye.